hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this abstract artwork inside of after effects with the help of element 3d so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects, let's create a new composition, we will call this as main animation, width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate 30, duration is 30 seconds and background is black color and simply hit ok, choose grid and guide option and hit title save action, then press ctrl y on your keyboard and let's call this as element 10, hit ok, then go to the effect and presets panel and search for element and simply double click and apply it, now go to the scene setup. Now in motion design 2 we will choose any object you are free to choose any object you want I'll choose somewhere around I'll go check out my mechanic uh, things and let's see what we can do I'll select this kind of stuff this looks good to me and after selecting that make sure that this is gonna be in group 1 and let's deselect it and create another group and bring it downwards like that and make this group 2 like that and we will still go to the group 2 and now we will add some another things over here let's say we'll check out some other options basically we need to create some base for this one okay so i'll select this ring like this and by hit ctrl d to duplicate press r and let's increase the size of it again yes press w and bring it downwards like this yeah so in group 2 we have this stuff and in group 1 we have this stuff now select this assets press r and let's scale the, down the size like this select this and go to the uv mapping options and over here you will get this option called auxiliary animation then let's make it channel one like that and now we will hit ok so we have these two options over here so right click new and create one camera and angle of view let's choose 56 and hit ok right click new and create one null object and convert this null object into 3d now select this camera hit double a to reveal these options and depth of field let's enable disable this for now like this now select this camera press c on your keyboard so we can rotate this camera press c c and c again until we will get this zooming options and if you want these options over here you will get this option called la option like unified camera tool orbit camera track x y and track z so i am choosing this option now and as you can see the all the shortcuts are ccc so if you press ccc it will switch the options like that so i'll switch it over here press c c and c again and i'll adjust the camera angle over here press c and, and let's angle adjust the camera like that let's move this over here now select this element go to the group one because our main object is in group one now go to the particle replicator and i'm going to choose ring so now i'm gonna increase the ring let's do 20 and shape let's decrease the shape somewhere around like this let's make it one and position y i'm um, position y i'm going to move this over here like that and let's move this over here like this now select this null go to the top view and make sure that this null is in the center of our all objects now let's go to the camera active camera view let's make this fit select this camera and make it apparent with this null select this null press r for rotation and you can rotate it on whatever axis you want like this i am going to move somewhere like this press c and let's zoom out a little bit c c c again and let's adjust the camera over here create one keyframe at z rotation let's make it 
30 or let's say 20 let's go to the 20 one second and let's make it minus 20 like this now select this in all object press p create one keyframe hit u again go over here and let's move this over here the main motto to change the position is that this option should be in the center now select both the keyframes and hit f9 go to around two second and copy and paste ctrl c ctrl v initial keyframes like this now select all the keyframes and by holding alt i'll move this to six now select those keyframes so hit f9 go to the graph editor and select all this graph let's see all oh, yeah all things are applied hit f9 select this graph select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here and this handle over here so now if we hit play we will get this kind of stuff yeah this looks good to me yeah now select this element uh, as you guys know if you go to the scene setup again we need to add another thing like for this one i have chosen the auxiliary channel one for this tech component we have two tech component in group two so for them also we will go to the uv mapping and over here i will choose auxiliary channel one for group two make sure that you are in group two and for this one i am sorry for this notifications and for this one i am going to choose aux channel 2 so for this one in group 2 this tech ring aux channel 1 and this one aux channel 2 and in group 1 aux channel is 1 so simply hit ok like that now we will first go to the group 2 and auxiliary channels we have over here let's go to the channel 1 and go to the rotation and as you can see if you rotate it it's gonna be rotated over here so create one keyframe on y rotation go go to six seconds hit u and let's make it one now this is channel one now let's go to the channel two go to the rotation create one keyframe and hit u again select this layer and hit u go over six and let's make this minus one now go to the start and if you hit play we'll get oops sorry i have chosen some wrong rotations let's delete this and in aux channel 2 okay so we have to rotate on this axis so select this and hit you again go to the 6 and let's make this minus 1 so we will get this kind of rotations now select this element this is for group one now group two in group two we have this option i think we need to move this a little bit upward select this camera press c c c uh, we need to move our camera over here like that now we will select this element uh, and then we will go to we will create one keyframe at the shape create one keyframe over here for the shape and then we will go to the particle look and we will go to the particle rotation and we will create one keyframe at x y and z and now we will hit u go to around two and let's make the shape two and go to our around six again and let's make this two two and two i mean rotations and now if you hit play let's make this quarter resolution so we will get this kind of rotating animations of this object and now we will go to one second we will move this shape to over here let's make this three and go to the start let's make it zero select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph select this and by holding shift move this over here so we will get this kind of animations now select those shape layers hit ctrl c ctrl v right click keyframe assistance time reverse layers and let's move this over here and at six seconds this is gonna be end so i'll hit n over here so we'll get this kind of animations now we will double click on this one let's decrease the field of view somewhere around angle of view let's make this i think 60 looks good and hit ok now select this camera hit double a 
and over here you will get this zoom out option let's create one keyframe and zoom out hit u let's make it one two zero zero let's in one zero zero sorry let's choose thousand and let's see let's make it one four zero zero yeah this looks good to me yeah so one create create one keyframe over here and go to around one second and let's make it one eight zero zero like this now select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift let's move this over here like this let's move this keyframe over over here or select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift let's move this over here and this over here like this now control c control v right click keyframe assistance time reverse layers like this let's make this full resolution now select this camera i mean element layer now our animation portion is done for this objects we will go to the render settings physical environment create one keyframe uh, at a rotation of each of this atu go to six seconds let's make this one 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 like this so we will get this environment rotating animation also now if you go to the ambient occlusion we need to enable this and let's make this 10 ambient occlusion so we'll get those shadows also if you want to increase you can increase up to 20 or you can increase up to whatever amount you want let's enable oh sorry i haven't enabled it let's make 10 again so we will get those shadows effect over here also like this now select this uh, now we need to add this some um, uh, depth of field so hit double a and you can enable the depth of field like this let's increase the focus distance to 1000 or let's choose 1200 or instead of that you can select this element output instead of composite i'm going to choose focus so you'll get this white uh, and now you can change the focus distance so if this the white portion represents the, uh, the camera is going to focus on this portion so i will choose something around like that now select this element and let's make it composite again so as you can see our camera is focusing on this one and increase the aperture to 100 like this so if you see we will get this kind of animations over here and at this point i am going to create one keyframe at the focus distance over here and at this point let's change the focus distance of this one now select those keyframe and hit f9 again hit hit ctrl c ctrl v right click keyframe assistance and sequence layers let's change the focus distance like this select this value ctrl c go over here and hit ctrl v like this so we'll get something like this now after that if you want to right click new and create one light i'll choose point light let's go to the left view and move this light over here let's move this light over here let's go to the top view and move this over here let's make this active camera view like this double click on it and change the color to bluish 
and hit ok and intensity let's choose 600 and let's see and hit ok so now we'll get something like this now select this element go to the render settings and oh we will go to the physical environment and if you enable the show in bg we can see those environment at the background and if you want then you can change the background also for example go to the presets go to the environment we can choose some different backgrounds like this let's choose this one and i think we don't need to show the background like that now you can go to the render settings you can increase the exposure to 2 you can increase the gamma also let's make this point 2 0.56 yeah and i think we need to disable this show in bg because this looks awkward so yep i think this much looks good to me and there is another thing you can do simply right click new and create one adjustment layer you can go to the effect and presets panel and search for glow effect simply apply on it increase the glow radius to let's say 100 90 or let's say 95 and let's make this 0.5 so we will get this kind of animations so with the help of that you can create sci-fi animations you can select this camera hit double a if you think the focus distance is too much uh, troublemaking simply go to the aperture value and you can reduce it to 40 so you will get the proper animation so you yeah, with the help of element 3d you can create this kind of sci-fi animations so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates until then stay tuned